Welcome to the Pactor radio and modem setup. I have preset a few parameters, but I'll go through and show you that. The modem we're using is a DR7400 Dragon by SCS, and the radio is an FTDX3000 by Yesu. The Yesu in the menu and your radio may differ if you're not using the FTDX3000. You'll have to go in and set the levels for receive and transmit. And you might want to try about middle. For example, Kenwood, I believe it's 2 and 2. On mine, I have it set around 50%, depending on the type of radio. What we're going to do is look at the COM port and baud rate. On mine, the COM port is 2, and the baud rate is 38400, and that is for the modem. We're going to be looking to set the FSK and PSK levels. The other thing to consider is VSWR. If you have high SWR, your transmitter could fold back. That's a protection circuit in the radio, and power output level can change the ALC. On ALC we want the automatic level control to be zero or just barely moving off of zero. So I'll show you first off under tools and options and on the left connections and we want the modem type to be PTC2 Pro. That's the closest we can get in airmail. It is an SCS modem, so we're good to go for the 7400, 7800. The COM port is 2 and 384, which I set up. I located the COM port in Device Manager. And again, that's for the TNC or modem. Next we go to Modules, and we only want to have the terminal window ticked. We'll click OK. Next we want to do is go into Tools. Next to it would be Modules. So HF Terminal is where we want to be. We can click it modules in HF terminals, or we can go to the blue icon, the round blue one with the three element Yagi in it. But we're going to do it the long way. Again, next to tools is modules and HF. What it's going to do is it's going to look to reinitialize the TNC or modem. It has failed. If it does fail, turn off your modem and turn it back on. I'm going to do that again. I've turned off and cycled it. So we go to Modules, HF, and we'll see whether it comes up this time. Yes, it did. So that's the modem serial number and the firmware version, and in mine, firmware version 4.0 is the latest version. Once we got that working OK, then we go to Control. We go to PTC2 Amplitude. Brings up a little window like such, and I am going to bring up a camera on the front of the radio. As you notice, the meter in blue says ALC and the busy light is on because it's in a receive mode and this meter is split into two. The top scale is an S meter goes from S0 to S9 and then 20, 40, 60 dB. The line below the thick part and then the thin part is the ALC and we want to make sure it's riding down at the bottom at zero. The meter, of course, is set to ALC at this point. 
I have a little bit of attenuation so the meter's not bouncing up higher than it normally would. And we're ready to do some testing. So back to the airmail amplitude window. As you see, FSK is on the top, PSK is on the bottom. Now in Winlink Express, it's the other way. They're reversed, so be cautious of that. I have already gone in and basically set the levels for FSK and PSK. To set them, we would normally untick the track so we don't lock it to two tones. We only do one at a time. So watching the meter, I'm going to hit the transmit button. The Yesu is a electronic meter. It's not an analog meter, so it does take a second for it to settle down. So I will click, bring on the transmitter with transmit button. The TX light comes on. We have a bit of ALC. Give it a second to see if it drops at all. And if it doesn't, then we need, we have to adjust it. It is actually sending a call sign, test, test, test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the left arrow and bring it down. And there we go. We're right on there. I'll bring it back up one and see what happens. Okay, we still we can go up one more. And the scale changes on up and down. So we're at 371. 375, 379, oh, there we go, we're in receive again. So what I'll do is I'll hit the transmit button, it has a timeout, so you're not going to have your transmitter locked on for too long. I'm going to hit the transmit again, and we're up, I'll go back down. you got to watch that busy light, if it comes on, we know we're back on receive. Just going down. And another one, and we'll see how uh, how we do. It's a little bit of back and forth. We're on we're on busy again, so we've gone back to receive. I'm going to hit the transmit button again, and I'm going to go one more. And oh, we might have to do another one. It's almost almost where we need it. One more, and there we go. It's right down. I'll click the stop, brings it back to receive. So 341 is the FSK. And the next we're going to do is the PSK. So I'm coming down here to the PSK. I'm going to hit the transmit. Busy light goes away. We have some ALC. I'm going to hit the down arrow Until we start to drop. Oh, that was a big drop. I'll go back to the plus one, two, three. Oh, we're in, uh, we're in busy again. So I can hit the transmit and I'm too high. I'll drop it again. It only comes on for a short period of time. And once I get it to where, oh, transmit again. A little bit more down. There we go. That's pretty much down the bottom. Any more will be past that. So we'll stop it. We're, we're now set. So now we have, make a note of that PSK as 330. We need to write them down because we're going to transfer that over to WinLink when we're done. So I'm going to retrack them together. That means they're going to be transmitting a FSK and PSK signal. And we'll see where we sit on the ALC. I'm going to apply it first. Then I'm going to hit the transmit. It can be either one. It doesn't matter. It brings on both. So just give it a sec. And we're pretty much down at the bottom. So I'll click stop. So on this radio... The meter acts a little bit different than it would, let's say, on a Kenwood TS-480 or an ICOM 7300 or whatever. So again, I'll just apply it and close it. And then I'm going to close the terminal window. I'm going to close airmail. I'm going to bring up Winlink Express. 
I'm going to bring up any of the Pactor. It could be Pactor Winlink or Pactor Peer-to-Peer. -peer. doesn't matter. So we'll just open that session. It's going to initialize the COM port, COM port 2, 384. It did, and my Yesu is controlled by CAT, by COM 7 and 384 as well. So I'll bring up the meter again. And we're basically in the same situation. We're going to use the settings tab. And you notice the PSK is now on the top. On airmail, it was on the bottom. So don't get mixed up with that one. So this only transmits. It doesn't give us anywhere to adjust. So that's why we use airmail. Using the PSK level test, we'll just see if uh, what it is set right now. And it, so it looks like there it is. Yeah. So it, it, it appears to be working OK. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the settings and I'm going to go into the Pactor TNC setup. Right now it's 350, 350, and we should have it at 341. Oh, no, sorry, correction. 330 for the PSK, and we want 341 for the FSK. And they are in reverse to what airmail is. I'm going to do update. And then we're going to wait for it to reinitialize, set that information into the modem. Once that's done, we'll go into settings and we'll do the PSK first. And just give it a sec and see how it is. It is okay. And the next we'll do is the FSK. It's very short, the transmitting, so it uh, the meter takes a bit to catch up, and that was down to zero before the busy light came on. So now we know that the settings for the TNC is the PSK is 330, FSK 341, and of course yours will be different. The COM port 2384 is what mine is set up as. So that allows us to get the modem and radio matched with pretty much 100 watts of output. I have a separate watt meter, but what I'll do is I'll switch the meter over to power output. And that's down here, the meter's power output. Now, it, now the meter says power output and S meter. So what I'm going to do is I'll bring on the transmitter the same way as we did a moment ago in the Pactor TNC setup. Same numbers, everything is the same. And we'll go to the either the PSK or FSK and see what we have. So I'll just hit the FSK and I'm almost at 100 watts. So that gives us uh, as much power output with basically zero ALC keeping any kind of distortion to a minimum. I'll turn on the monitor circuit so you can hear what it sounds like. And the PSK so that's what it sounds like sounds good and clean nothing bad in the audio that is the monitor circuit on the radio so hopefully that's been helpful that's how I set up the Pactor radio modem package together and it, uh, I get quite successful results. So right now I'll try uh, Kilo Delta 7 Zulu Delta Oscar. We have a 47% uh, capability of, uh, of sending or receiving from that station. And I have the, the start button and it's going to try and connect to him. The connection time is depending on how much 
uh, how many channels they have that they're scanning. That's three and a half seconds for each channel. So if you had uh, five channels times 3.5, that's how long it would take. Now I'm doing a 40 meter connection. He's, uh, this happens to be a disaster management uh, Aries uh, station and it just goes through a connect and I have uh, a message sitting there that is a 1,487 bytes compressed down to 386. The signals are not really strong today from him. They're 343 kilometers away at a bearing of 166. It's sending it at 2,800, 3,200 right now. That's up in this area here. And that message that uh, I, I sent which was uh, roughly 1,500 bytes, took uh, 57 t uh, seconds total to send that message. And that's with a 47% uh, percent quality uh, calculated off the solar flux. And it's just doing its final disconnect. And then it does its CWID, and then it'll be back to receive. The other thing we can show you is under channel, if you don't haven't run across this, we have channel which gives us the, uh, the call signs, the frequencies, the mode they're capable of, their grid square, the hours of operation, whether they're a public, MCOM, Mars, CFARS, shares, depending on what group you would belong to the distance in kilometers, the bearing if you were on a Yagi antenna, where to point the antenna, the path reliability and the path quality. So that's uh, a good uh, tool for you uh, and you can update it via the internet or you can update it via radio. Radio will take a lot longer and you have to connect to a radio that is internet connected. Along with that you do have uh, the solar flux right now it's 158 because we've actually updated it so we know that it's 158 at this moment you can look at forecasting as well there's also a map where you can move the map around and have a look and see who's where you put it over top and you can see the guys 542 kilometers away at a bearing 126 and a path quality of 43. So you can search the map and find, oh, there's my station. And uh, wherever you are, you can, you can look and see uh, what's good for you. So hopefully that's been helpful. That gives you an overall uh, list of uh, things. And you can also, this is uh, selectable here. Uh, radio only capable RMSs that's uh, or all of them so that's the choices you have hopefully that's been uh, been educational for you and uh, good luck setting up your system like share and subscribe I'm Ed VE7 Echo Delta on Vancouver Island in British Columbia Canada 73 